Hello everyone. The fourth episode of Sheikh Mahmoud Shabestari's Golshan Roz, The Rose Garden of Mysteries. In the previous episode, we discussed how um, Adam was created and how the human being started pondering who he or she is. And then he started a journey to find the answer, to go back to the origin. In this episode, we are going to discuss what he learned in that journey. The rest of the poem that we were analyzing says, Jahan radid amri etabari, shabahit gashtadar a'adat sari. The human realized that the world is unreal. It is one manifested in many. He realized that uh, all the plurality, all the entities that we see in this world are essentially not real. They are contingent beings. They get their existence from another being. So it is in this sense that we say they are not real. Essentially, they do not exist. They do not have independent existence. They do not have independent essence. Then he compares it to numbers. Well, Ibn Arabi also does this. He says, in the same way that uh, all the numbers that we know are in one sense, like particular numbers, let's say 12. 12 is on its own from a non-essential point of view a number, a unique number, but essentially it's just a repetition of one. One being repeated so many times until it gets to the number 12. So uh, he uses basically the simile, both Ibn Arabi and Sheikh Mahmoud Shabistari, to say like, the world is also like this. Although we say, well, this entity, that entity uh, do exist, well, essentially, they are just uh, manifestations, different faces of one reality. They do not have existence, essential existence on their own. And this is what the mystic learns in his journey. The next line says, جهان خلق و امر از یک نفس شد که هم آندم که آمد باز پس شد He says, the world of creation and the world of order came to be from one breath. By the world of creation, he means the material world that has been created in time and space. And the world of order is the world that has been created without time, um, without matter, like the world of intellect, like the world of souls, which is also referred to as the hidden world. So the first part of the line says, um, both the created world and the world of order came from the divine breath. And we said in our previous videos that the divine breath by divine breath, he's alluding to the Quranic verse uh, where, where he says, uh, when he wishes uh, for something to exist, he just says, kon, be, the order, be, and it becomes, which is in connection to another Quranic verse uh, where God says, um, when I proportioned him, Adam, I breathed my spirit into him. So he uses the verb breathe, that's why the whole creation is said to have happened through the divine breath. So this is what the Sheikh is alluding. The world of order and the world of creation came to be from the divine breath. Now, the second part. What he's saying is, um, again, this is the circle of existence that we talked about in the previous videos. Um, from divine oneness, the manifestation, the determination started and all the pluralities, all the multiplicities came to be. And uh, the human being is the reference in all this man manifestation because he or she is the most perfect manifestation that could manifest all the divine names and qualities. And human being and human being alone can manifest all the names and qualities based on the Quran. So from this point, we started another ascending journey uh, from the particular, from the particular to the origin, where the unity of the soul and God happens. So basically, we have two arcs: the descending arc and the ascending arc. So, and it happens through the divine breath. So this is what the second part is saying: Keham andam ke amad bas pasjod, from the breath that it came down, it started going back, it started going up. So it's referring uh, to these two arcs that happen in a circular way. The next line says, 
ولی آن جایگه آمد شدن نیست شدن چون بنگری چون آمدن نیست what this line is saying is uh, because all the uh, entities are essentially unreal all the common goal is also unreal the second part says شدن چون بنگری چون آمدن نیست and the second part says uh, if you look at it coming is the same as going and what this means is uh, we told this i think in our first or second video there are two kinds of manifestations uh, uh, one manifestation is universal like all the entities um, get it like the manifestation through which they come to be the manifestation through which they exist and um, all these entities because because they are contingent they are possible um, as a requirement of their possibility in every moment essentially they cease to exist and as a requirement of that manifestation they come to existence they are manifested again and the ceasing and coming to existence through the manifestation um, is so fast and by fast we are not referring to time we are speaking figuratively that uh, you see every entity as existing in the same place at the same time where in this cosmological picture every entity ceases to exist essentially and is manifested again and this speed is just uh, beyond the comprehension of uh, our perceptive and cognitive faculties next we have be asl khish raje gasht ashya hame yek cheez shod paida bo penhan all the entities went back to their origins hame yek cheez shod paida bo penhan in the ascending arc all the pluralities all the entities which were imaginal they did not essentially exist disappeared and only the one remained ta'ala lah qadim ku be yekdam khunat aghaz anjam do alam hi is god who with one breath starts and ends the two worlds the world of seen and the world of unseen so the divine breath um, as a requirement of its primacy it starts the creation and as a requirement of it being the last it ends the world that is the world starts with the divine breath and ends with the divine breath jahan e khalq o amr inja yeki shod yeki besyar o besyar andaki shod Uh, the world of creation and the world of order became one united in the descending arc the one appeared as multiplicities and in the ascending arc the, mul the multiplicities became one the circular motion the one becomes many and the many becomes one the next line we have hame az vahm tost in surat ghayr all the otherness of the entities that you experience that you perceive in this world is just nothing but your illusion your conjectural faculty um, there is no otherness he's uh, now um, using a simile here and a very interesting simile uh, like let's say if you um, attach a light ball or say a fireball to a string if you take the string and if you just uh, circle it around uh, the light is gonna appear as and if you do it in a fast way the, the, the light is appearing as a circle right but in fact there is no circle it's just only one point and because of the speed of the rotation because of the speed of the circulation you see it as a perfect circle where the circle is imaginal it's an illusion it doesn't exist Now, similarly, um, because of the speed of the manifestation, and by speed we don't mean time-wise, it's just a figure of speed. Uh, because of the speed of manifestation, the whole creation seems like, looks like circular motion, where in fact it's an illusion, it's imaginary. There is no circulation here. It's just that the speed of the manifestation is too much, as that this whole thing appears as a circular motion. Next we have یکی خط است از اول تا به آخر برو خلق جهان گشت مسافر 
it is only but line from the beginning to the end. That is, the imaginal circular line that we see. It is but imaginal, an illusion. Um, a line, a circular line, um, on which the created beings are just travelers. We travel from up above to down here, from down here to up above. Um, the whole thing is imaginal. Basically, that's the point of this line. In the following lines, uh, the Sheikh is going to start talking about prophets and the mystics. What is the role of the prophets in this journey? What is the role of the mystics in this journey? But that's a very long discussion for this video. I'm going to stop it here, so just to stay on the topic. So in the next episode, we're going to talk about prophets, and following that, we're going to talk about mystics and their roles. I hope you like this video, and see you soon.